Need to charge your EV away from your house? Need to get a little more reach because some particular manufacturers have told you to charge outside? Need to get yourself an extension cable for your electric vehicle? I did a bunch of research and I tried this one so you don't have to. Let's get to it. My name is Johan and I am your host for today's episode of Car Tech TV. In case you have not been following along, those of us with a General Motors Chevrolet Bolt EV vehicle have had some recalls done due to fires and GM has given us some new guidelines for how to charge our vehicle. Some of those require people to park outside and away from their actual EV charger and it may not reach for them. If you're one of those people and you need to get an extension cord, which one should you get? I went through the process of doing all the research and I got this one off of Amazon. I tried them so you don't have to, so let's get at it. This one here is by a company called Intiset. Description here, link down below. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button in case you have any questions about this. But I did a bunch of research. I looked at about mm, 10 different models on Amazon between the price range of $150 to $250 to get a 20 foot extension cable for my EV. This is the only one that I could find that was very clearly stated made in the USA. Let's do a quick unboxing and take a look at it and see why you should purchase this one versus some of these other ones. All right, folks, we have the Intiset Technologies J1772 electrical vehicle extension cord. And as you can see, proudly made in the USA. So I had to rip off my logo so y'all don't know where I live, but this is how the box comes. This is what we're looking at. So as you can see, the box comes. This would be the charger port. Looks pretty clean. It's high quality materials. It's IP66 rated. It is certainly a heavy duty cable. You can see that that is thick. There's actually a rubber piece that comes over this thing. Oh wow, this is nice. Okay, Duocita. I don't know that this is actually an American product, but maybe they just assembled it here. But as you can see, coming out of the box, oh, this thing's heavy. It actually comes with a bag as well if you're gonna go ahead and store it in the car. So this whole thing is pretty nice. The cord has actually got ratings on it, as you can see. It says Carol Green Ultra Flex, electric vehicle cable, R2. It's a uh, 10 gauge wire to 18 gauge wire as well. So, like I said, this is a fairly robust product. It's got weatherproof connectors on the back side here. I think everything about this is made pretty well. It feels like a flexible cable, similar to what you'd see at a car dealership actually. But the connector piece seems to click in nice and solid. I will say one of the things that they have said is that you need to plug the charger into this side first, otherwise this will not work. It needs to be plugged in here once it sends the voltage through the wire, then you can go and plug this side into your car. If you don't do it in that order, it won't work. So let's see how it does on the car. All right, just to give you guys a little bit of information about my bolt. That's about how close I need to park. You can see I have to have the cord underneath the door and I have to park super, super close because that's as far as it'll reach is to right here. So I can't park that close. It's still kind of a fire hazard. So let's see if this extension cord will move it further away. All right, so super satisfying. We get to cut off the zip ties from this bad boy and give this thing a try. I like this cable, it's nice. And, uh, it's not messing around. It's robust, it's early, and uh, just what I'm looking for. So let's give this a try and see how far away we can get our car. Keys help. plug these 
these in first, okay? Figure out which way they go. Not going anywhere. This cable spins a little bit, but I think it just needs to tighten. But this is uh, this feels feels like good quality. So as you can see, I have plenty of room here. Sorry for the noise, I live on a busy street. But you can see this thing goes in nice, clicks in really solid. Buy American, folks. Chevy, buy American. Right now it's hooked up to the car first and not the charger. And if I do this, I did not hear the car beep. Oh, it did. Maybe it's because it was already plugged into the car. I don't know. I've heard that these won't work if you plug them in in the wrong order. Seemed to work to me. I'm gonna do one final test here. We're gonna unplug this and unplug it from the car. Wait about 30 seconds and then plug it back in. All right, plugged into the car. Now let's see what happens if we plug in this bad boy. Gonna beep. It does. This is a great cable, folks. Go get yourself one. Link in the description below. Comes in a couple different sizes. Comes in a 30, a 20, and a 12. I went with the 20 footer, which seems like it is more than enough to cover just about any driveway. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps the YouTube algorithm so that I can continue to make more videos like this. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the description all the other ones that I did research on that just don't seem to be as well made as this. So if you have any questions, again, would love to have you guys use the comment section so that we can uh, discuss this further. See you next time.